Good morning guys, Windy City Bassin here. It's early morning, we got the sun just coming up, and this is what I would call another after work fishing session. You're going, well Mike, the sun's just coming up. What the heck are you talking about? Well, that's because literally, I'm just getting off of work. Um, my day ended about 12 hours later than normal because it was just a brutal day at the office. Packed up at about five, went home for a change of clothes, and here I am at about six o'clock, hoping to throw some big baits and catch some big, big fish. Follow me along and see what we can catch. I want to start off catching one on the hood right away. Oh, I just, I just lost, I just lost that bait. The bluegill is actually gone. All right, well, I guess it's time to get a new HUD because a fish just took the bluegill off the freaking hook. That's ridiculous. What kind of fish does that? I need to know. I guess we're retiring that for now. I might need to put on a different bluegill style bait or something. I think we can catch something on the spinner bait right away. That's a chunky fish. It's a solid two. Man, he barely got it too. Hopefully we catch him some, wow, he is angry. I knew we'd get one on this spinnerbait. What's funny is I, I just started lifting that up and it was starting to reel in much faster. So maybe that's the key, veering the retrieves. What the hell? That fish just jumped out of the water. He little jumped on the land. That scared the crap out of me. That feels good. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. This one's a little bit smaller, but uh, he just came up. He flew at it. That's a little guy. We're gonna put this down for a minute. We're gonna throw the dinger for a little bit. Mainly because I think that there's some fish up shallow that I can get on this thing. go saw him wake on it so this is a good fish holy cow holy crap he didn't even put up a fight look at that guys that's a great fish caught on that senko there and look at that just absolutely demolished it go fatten yourself up bud beautiful See, that was like a thing of beauty. Eh. I got a bite right now. That's a bass. Oh, yes. Holy cow. Man, this is another really solid fish. Oh my goodness. broke my hook off. Oh, come here. Come here, boy. No, 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 no. That bastard just splashed the crap out of me. That's annoying. We're just losing baits left and right here. Since we keep losing, let's go back to the spinner bait. Man. Annoyed about that one. Oh, there we go. Man, they are mean this morning. Another little guy. Man, there's another one. I feel like the bigger fish have been on the, um, definitely been on the Senko. Gosh, I wish I had a Senko tie on. Something just ate something right on the shoreline over there. I can't believe I got that soaked. I need a shower too, I'm gonna stink. It's nasty, nasty pond water. 
Oh, right away. Hit it instantly the second it hit the water. Look at it skating in. This is just too fun. Yeah, he's the, he's the littlest one yet, I think. <laughs> what a little guy. All right, spinner baits. Spinner baits, honestly, are <laughs> are not one of my favorite baits. I really don't throw them that often. I don't know. I felt like in a lake like this, where it's not really weeds, it's just like these thick, scummy. Oh, I just got wrecked. Oh, 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 oh! I hit it twice and missed. And so I'm throwing it along the weed edge on that bank. And I'm getting bit along that bank and along right where the in front of me the weed edge ends. That's right where I just had this bite it. Right, right there. Holy cow. Right there. Oh my god, did he hammer that? Hit it like a freight train. Not even that big. It'd be a pound and a half, pound and a quarter. Oh my skirt's coming down. That's a nice fish. That's a, that's a solid one. So I think we're getting some of these uh, smaller, more active fish to take the uh, moving baits. And I feel like the bigger, lazier fish may be sitting up shallow. They're looking to bite the um, bite the slower moving baits. So, I mean, we haven't even moved. I mean, that's how I just know this lake is just stacked with so many fish. We just keep chucking and winding. Since I'm literally running on zero hours of sleep, my plan is to go home and sleep the middle of the day away. And maybe edit. I'm gonna tell you what, I really do like the look of this. This little bluegill swim bait from Savage Gear. It's a lot smaller than the Huddleston. It might mean we get more fish, might get a better hookup ratio. I wanna get some swim bait fish. Let's try. Cast pretty well. Oh, I got hit. I missed him. Again, I'm working with a big single hook here, so these fish really have to... Like that. Oh, and it's a good fish. Oh, oh, he came off. No. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, man. No. Easily a three or four pounder. Well, hmm. That's a little concerning, is that I've thrown this bait now, like forecast, had one fish, and I've lost both of the eyes. I would expect them to last longer than one fish. All right, we might have to actually move. We haven't moved once yet today, so I think it may be about time. Oh, big bluegill. Holy cow, big bluegill. Giant bluegill. Holy crap. Hooked in the mouth. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Definitely one of the biggest I've ever caught. Look at that. That is not the tank. That's cool. Oh, dang. I don't know how that spit off. That was craziness. I don't think it was a giant. Not super upset about that one. Oh, I got, that was definitely a bluegill. Definitely a bluegill. Oh, he still got it. Oh yeah, a little bass. Oh, I got another chunky bluegill. Wow. Gosh, these are huge. I mean, look at that. Chunky, chunky bluegill in the mouth on five inch Senkos. Man, where are you guys when I'm like ice fishing? Why can't I hook into something like you? Instead I catch like, catch 50 of these three inchers. Man, look at that. That is a chunk. All right. I want to catch a big fish on this. Oh God, I'm getting wrecked. I got to hit probably like three or four times. Oh God. Oh, 
Oh, that fish came out of nowhere. I was reeling it really fast. Maybe. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. So much action in such a short period of time. Oh my God. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right. Maybe we need to be burning this in. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe it isn't the slow retrieve. Maybe it's the fast retrieve. Oh, oh my God, I got hit again. Oh, I just got hit again. Man, maybe I need that treble hook. Oh my God. Oh, that was a big fish. There we go, there we go. Got him. Oh, and he just popped off. Whew, wow. That was not easy. I don't know whether this is a fish that flashed on a couple times, but that little, that little swim bait there, man. I can't get them to stay pinned on it. It's just like the plastic isn't soft enough and the hook angle is really weird. And, uh, but hey, I got it in. That counts. All right, we are going to move yeah we're gonna move what i haven't gotten is that five plus i want that five pounder that five pounder's in here i know it the question is where is she there we go i got one. Oh, you are skinny bud man what is with you fishing getting off all right little guy skinny little guy There's one. He hit it twice. Okay, so the spinnerbait seems to be catching mainly the smaller fish. Smaller fish. But it's working. I mean, it's it's working real well. Oh, God. Oh, here's a good one. There's a good fish. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Oh, good mouth on this thing. Whew. That is probably another three, three and a quarter maybe. The mouth is, again, bigger, but the uh, fish is a little skinny. That fish right there could have been my biggest ever on a spinnerbait. Like I said earlier, I don't throw spinnerbaits all that often. There's another one. Oh, this is a good one too. This is a real good one. This might be bigger than the last one. Oh my gosh. Oh guys, I wanted to come out here and slam on the uh, swim baits, but the spinner bait, man, is doing the trick here. Here's another solid three and a half. This one's probably close to four. This is probably my biggest fish of the day. The last one I just had, two casts earlier, was had a bigger mouth, but this thing is much thicker. <sighs> my arms are getting tired, which is always a good problem. They are loving the spinnerbait today who knew early morning spinnerbait bite no don't throw top water this corner looks pretty juicy let's see if we can get one right in this in front of this drain oh god there was one if i had a frog i think i would have got him hmm i think there's a bass in there but man you just ain't eating all right let's keep moving I think there's a bass in there, but that fish is being a poo head. All right, I'm gonna go back and throw in the spinnerbait for a minute. Ooh, ooh, I missed one. He kind of just whiffed. Mmm, this feels like a pretty good one. Oh, yeah, it is. It is a good one. Another solid, solid three and a half four pound fish oh my goodness what is going on with this little pond these fish are just healthy god it's fun there's just so many fish in this little little lake oh that was another one. Oh, there he came back and got it came back and got it cast right afterwards I mean, this is definitely no giant. It's like a pound. Nah, maybe not. Three quarter. There's another one. 
This is another good one too. This is a good two pound, two and a half. You were damaged. Look at that. And this is the skinniest fish I've ever seen. Look at this. I feel sorry for you, bud. Look at, look at how unhealthy this fish is. Sorry, but there was like a, a leech on him, some sort of parasite. I'm gonna get that off him. But that is, that's an unhealthy looking fish. Wow. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Yeah, little guy. Whoop. Well, we know what they want. And that's the spinnerbait today. They are very active. All right, so let's see if we can. There we go. There's another one. It's bigger than the last one, though. Gosh, spinnerbait is just killing them. Slaying them on the spinnerbait. That's what we call this video, the uh, after work spinnerbait slay session. You're a pretty good fish. That's a, that's a really healthy fish, actually. I could just stay here all day slaying them on the uh, spinnerbait, but it really wasn't my intention. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's a little better one. A little better one. This is just insane. Not a giant. Oh, you bastard. You just splashed the hell out of me. Well, that's a good cast. I bet you there's a fish on this bite. Oh, right there. Ooh, this is a good one. Oh, right into the weeds. Come on, give me your mouth. Give me your mouth. Whew. There's, this could be one of the fish I even caught earlier. I don't even know. Again, in that three, three pound range, man, his mouth is just like holy as hell. My fingers are going through the bottom of his mouth. That's a chunk. Guys, catching fish is really the only way that I'm staying away because if it was if it was a slow day, I would have left by now and I would be asleep on the couch. There's another one. Oh man, he just dug right into the weeds. Little guy. A little one. Boop. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today. Uh, overall, we had a pretty good day. We uh, we probably caught 20, 25 fish or so. Most of it was on the spinnerbait. We got a couple on the uh, the Senko. We got one fish to the shore on uh, that Savage Gear uh, little bluegill swim bait. We lost my HUD bluegill swim bait right away, but I got some more on order because uh, I'm loving that bait right now. Again, after work, yet early in the morning just because it was a long, 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 long night at work. And so it was good to get out this morning before the sun was fully up. Spent a couple hours out here fishing, and now we're going to go back and we're just going to crash. I mean, I I'm crashing right now. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you watching as always. And it's Windy City Bassin signing out.